Hello everyone and welcome to the Freedom Fighter Times. I want to share this image with you that was sent to us and uh, it was from a personal account on Facebook. That's the original source. I don't believe anybody else has got this as of now, but uh, I'm sure they will after we make this video. Um, because this right here is very interesting. This took place in Yago, Mexico on March 26, 2016, the day before Each Star Sunday. And I've said it that way because we need to call it what it is. It is nothing related to Jesus Christ. It's nothing related to Christianity. It's each star Sunday that's been dedicated to the deities and idols of the world, not God. So there's a big difference between that. We should keep it separated. Now, as for what is on this screen here, again, this took place in Yago, Mexico. And there's this crazy cloud figure, portal, ball, something, who knows what it is. Well, I think I've found just about what it is, uh, because there is no clear-cut answer to exactly what it is. So if you have a suggestion, or if you, you think you've seen it before, you know what it is, whatever, put it in the comments. Seriously, I mean, it's good to start discussions on what exactly is in the clouds over Mexico right now, because if this next image, there appears to be an origin, and that origin appears to be from the sun. And as you can see, it is clearly dropping down from the cloud line, from the sun, and it's clearly heading towards the earth. Let's get a, a close-up here. And this close-up, we can kind of make more of a, a definitive answer as to what it's beginning to look like. As you can see, on each side, there are two wings where the rainbows are. You can also see um, a complete circle in the middle as well as something appears to pop up here. Um, whether that's just uh, the cloud messing up or whatever. But there's definitely something popping up right here. And I, I couldn't tell if there was a tail or what, what have you, right? But anyway, so we have a clear circle here, we have two wings here, and we have another tail going off on this end, right? Uh, that you could almost say is feathers. So let's keep going. Um, before we go into exactly what I think this is, I want to show you something else. If you remember this image here, I want you to look at the bottom right of your screen. Do you see any name that kind of sticks out? Monsanto. Monsanto. What the hell are they doing there? I just thought that was weird. It was in the image. Very strange. Anyways, back to the image. Now, as I've clearly shown you uh, what it looks like, what we can see up close, um, we can even go a little bit further. As you can see, there's clear, a clear ball there. There's definitely two wings on this side or two um, straight lines around the ball. And as you can see, there's a little bit of a tail going off on the side here as well as there's something right here or something right here, okay? So let's back it up again. Let me recenter that image. Um, and now I'm going to go into exactly what I think it is. Uh-oh. There we are. This is a figurine or a, an idol dedicated to Baal. B-A-A-L. I say Baal. Apparently it's pronounced Baal. Whatever. Anyways, the important part is that we've got the exact two wing structures. We've got some sort of a tail at the bottom. And we've got a circle in the middle with something coming out at the top. It is no coincidence that Ishtar, or Easter, is a day away, and it's no coincidence that we have the temples to Baal popping up all over the world next month. This is such an abomination. That's what it is. Plain, plain and simple. Let's go back to the image. Let's zoom in again. Now, hang on. There we are. If you can't tell, it's pretty close. Let's look at this image here. Got a side-by-side. Uh, this one, I think, gives the, the, the bottom right, I think that gives the best depiction of what it is. Because um, literally, I don't think you're going to find anything else that looks as, as close. This is a physical res, re, uh, representation of him. Okay, so let me give you the, the craziness of this. Because if you go back just a couple images, remember, it's falling from the sun. That's very important. So Nimrod died, became Baal, and we have Ishtar, which is a representation of the moon, supposedly, in mythology, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then Ishtar gave birth to uh, Baal's son, which would be Tammuz, uh, which would mean that Tammuz was birthed from the sun, if, that would be, if we were to follow this mythology, correct? Okay, so we literally have a Baal, or a Baal, representation coming down from the sun in the shape 
of the clouds or in the in the clouds, in the shape of a uh, a figurine that is that is a representation of Baal. If that doesn't bear any more of a resemblance to it, I don't know what will for you. The other thing that's that's very strange is, of course, these temples that are being resurrected, if you want to call it that, all over the place. There's a very big problem with that. It's happened before. It's happened before, and it's happened before. And no, it hasn't happened in modern times as much. It's all been swept under the rug or hidden. It was done in Israel. Old Israel. Ancient Israel. It's been done time and time again. The people who follow God end up getting misled and deceived and they follow Baal. And God then gets very angry. And typically a war or a foreign nation is brought against his people who have fallen away. Because in the timeline of the end, the great falling away comes first. Alright, so now we're going to jump to a quick little side note. We uh, posted this. Uh, Emma did a great job on this, this report here. Uh, CERN praising the beast, Easter Nazi hive mind connection exposed. And in the beginning of this, we put all of the Easter information um, as the non-exclusive or non-unlimited, which is you, if you don't know by now, we offer exclusive content. Uh, it's heavily researched information. Check it out if you want to see it. But for now, for the, uh, the free stuff that we have in this part, which you can find anywhere online, um, is literally about Ishtar. And I want to explain this to you. I'm going to read this to you. Ishtar, which is pronounced Easter, was a day that commemorated the resurrection of one of their gods that they called Tammuz, who was believed to be the only begotten son of the moon goddess and the sun god. In those ancient times, there was a man named Nimrod, who was the grandson of one of Noah's son, son excuse me, Noah's son named Ham. Ham had a son named Cush, who married a woman named Semiramis. Cush and Semiramis then had a son named Nimrod. Um, after the death of his father, Nimrod married his own mother and became a powerful king. The Bible tells us of this man, Nimrod, in First Genesis, Ge excuse me, Genesis, chapter ten, verses eight through ten, as follows: And Cush begat Nimrod. He began he began to be a mighty one in the earth. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord. Wherefore it is said, even as Nimrod, the mighty hunter before the Lord, and the beginning of his kingdom was Babel, and Erech, and Akkad, and Kalne, in the land of Shinar. Nimrod became a god man to the people of to the people and Semiramis. His wife and mother became the powerful queen of ancient Babylon. Nimrod was eventually killed by an enemy, and his body was cut in pieces and sent to various parts of this of his kingdom. Semiramis had all of the parts gathered except for one part that could not be found. The missing part was his reproductive organ. Semiramis claimed that Nimrod could not come back to life without it, and told the people of Babylon that Nimrod had ascended to the sun and was now to be called Baal, the sun god. Queen Semiramis also proclaimed that Baal would be present on the earth in the form of a flame whether candle or lamp when used in worship. Semiramis was creating a mystery religion, and with the help of Satan, she set herself up as a goddess. Semiramis claimed that she was immaculately conceived. She taught that the moon was a goddess that, she, that went through a 28-day cycle and ovulated when full. She further claimed that she came down from the moon in a giant moon egg that fell into the Euphrates River. This was to have happened at the time of the first full moon after the spring equinox. Semiramis became known as Ishtar, which is pronounced Easter, and her moon egg became known as Ishtar's egg. Ishtar soon became pregnant and claimed that it was the rays of the sun god, Baal, that caused her to conceive. The sun that she brought forth was named Tammuz. So, every year... On the first Sunday, after the first full moon, after the spring equinox, a celebration was made. It was Ishtar Sunday, and was celebrated with rabbits and eggs. Now let's review this one more time. So we've got one representation of Baal. We've got also um, Ishtar falling, or whatever you descending, ooh, descending to the earth in the shape of an egg. Just in case somebody said that was an egg, I wanted to bring that um, representation to you. Uh, but here... Both of them tie to Baal. Now, in the same week, in the very same week, they are also stating that Baal's temples are going to pop up in New York, they're going to pop up in London, and then thousands more are going to show up across the globe.
These are the end times, ladies and gentlemen. And this right here is potentially yet more proof that the powers that be and the people of the world have absolute, well, the powers that be know what they're doing, but the people of the world have absolutely no idea and who they're invoking. They're invoking Satan. They're invoking the Antichrist. This is a potential representation of that. Now, let me reiterate. This took place on March 26, 2016, one day before Easter Sunday, one day. It is very well known in the occult world that they practice their rituals typically on Saturday nights. This appeared on Saturday. The very next day was Easter. Coincidence? I think not. Just remember that, because that's very important. So, in this, this, this image here that we, that's compiled, I want to know what you guys think. If you really think that this is a depiction or a representation of the deity Baal. Because personally, I have really found that this appears to be the same representation that has been done throughout history. Through idols, through figurines, through whatever. It appears to be very similar, if not identical. Let me know what you guys think. Crazy, crazy things are happening all over the world. If you are not saved, I suggest you get so today. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. God bless and carry on.